Death Talk, episode 63. I'm up. Welcome back <laughs> for season three of the number one rated podcast in the no, world. See, you want to start off fresh. The number one <laughs> rated podcast relating to Death Wish. Yo, no, I no, this is, we're, no, this is yo, just I don't want to give ourselves one. a pat on the back too much, but like, congrats everyone on the Emmy Award last <laughs> night. It do they do Emmys really for podcasts? They, yeah. They do now. Do they really? We, you weren't at the fucking ceremony. Oh. We won, too. <laughs> it's all right. You guys are assholes. Also, congrats on the Emmy. Congrats on pumping these out every other week, too. We've been working hard. <laughs> yeah. it's Honestly, it's a lot of work getting these up. But. Um, yeah, we're back for a, another new episode of Death Talk. Um, Exciting installment. The usual faces are here. I uh, usually don't do intros, but I have to introduce Allie. Hi, Allie. What's up? Allie's going to be here today, and more episodes in the future, hopefully, if she doesn't leave after this one. <laughs> That's it, guys, I quit. Yeah. So, um, we're gonna yeah. We're going to have Keith on here, too. Yeah, we're going to have Keith on here. We're going to have more people, hopefully. And, All you um, lovely listeners who have ordered from us before, there's a great chance that Allie has packed up your order. And bled on it. And bled on it. Definitely. And sent you free posters and a laffy taffy. Up for it. Yeah. <laughs> that laffy yeah. taffy. There was a lot of blood today. When you bleed on a packing slip, do you just cut that little part out? No, I leave it in. Hell yeah. <laughs> when you bleed on a packing slip, does the recipient become your best friend? <laughs> it's like it's like the Kiss comic book. It's, it's collectible. Oh, yeah. You better be framing those packing slips. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> sounds good. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna do some different stuff here. You know, we're gonna change up the podcast. Do whatever we want. Just you know, we're different can- strokes for we're different folks. Cannons. Chill vibes. We just moved to California and. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have a lot to talk about. Burn, uh, Converge, Road Burn, Super Unison, all that stuff. Uh, Mark's got some... Who big, got new phone? More more news to talk about, as usual. Uh, Mark, why don't you start us off today? What do we got going? So, Burn, Do or Die, is out now. It's been out for a week or two. Uh, the record's awesome. Uh, the vinyl looks awesome. We've got uh, actually we have no color vinyl left because it's all gone. All it's of all it? sold. Wait, this, this we, still, we, we still... really burned through it. You <laughs> except, <laughs> except if you still want a colored version, you can get the indie color. Yeah, I was gonna say that's still out there, right? It's still out there. Lots of different Somewhere. big chain stores or smaller independent stores. I sold to. Um, uh, there's a list on our site um, that has. Um, I'll put it in the show notes. Yeah, we'll put it in the show notes. We'll put a link. There's a list of stores. Not guaranteeing all those stores have the indie color or if it's sold out. But you, yeah. Go check it out. Um, there will be a cool, you know, Death Wish independent or I think it just is exclusive indie colored vinyl. I yeah, can't it's like a red and black. There's a sticker that's red and black and you'll see you'll it. You'll know. Um, it. You'll see it. So, what, is, what is that color? Oh, it's cream and black mix. Ooh, Looks like, really good. Just like a burnt match. Exactly. Just that's like what the we artwork. Went, I, that's what we went for when we were picking the color. I, I know. That's Works why I great. said that. Yeah. It's even cooler because all the other colors have to do with you know yellows and oranges and yeah. reds and oh, yellows and sorry oranges, I just remember this too reds and when you mentioned that so. oranges <laughs> <laughs> there's the tour color too yeah so Burns gonna have a really cool maybe the coolest color out of all of them uh, do we want, we we announce what it is right yeah, yeah, isn't it red, like red orange mix red and orange mix yeah it's yeah, yeah, really yeah. awesome Ooh. so they'll be selling that on their tour did you just take a selfie listen. <laughs> you can't hold this the is phone, Mark. The worst living Hang in on. It. Wait, you can't. You can't be. What? Are you? Get out Busted. Of here, Boofed. Allie, we don't take selfies during don't the podcast. Don't judge me. Hold on, we don't. Maybe Allie does. <laughs> Yo, do new season. Listen. Yo, whip out your phones, <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> the show notes are just gonna be selfies of us. This is the second Hold time on, I've ever taken a photo of myself. Yeah, this phone up. <laughs> so I guess we take selfies during the podcast now. <laughs> hey, it's okay. I'm I'm feeling myself today, so that's good. It's every day for Caleb. Do you want to, do you want to take any more photos, Allie? Or no, we move I'm, on? I'm all set. We can move on. Leave okay. her be. <laughs> so, Burns, uh, the, the tour color that they'll be selling is uh, you know orange and yellow mix, and uh, looks awesome. They're going to be selling it on the tour they're doing this fall with Comeback Kid and Jesus Peace. It's a hot, hot tour. Um, some hot, 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 some hot vinyl. Hot, hot. Be careful so, if you touch it. Hey, we just put a playlist up for that, too. Yeah, there's a playlist on uh, Spotify and Apple Music featuring... All the bands, uh, you know, new songs, best songs, classic songs. So go follow the playlist and get yourself familiar. If you don't know Comeback Kid, if you don't know Jesus Peace, if you don't know Burn, uh, check it all out. 
head out to the show. They're playing lots of shows around the U.S. We're going um, to the Raven in oh, Worcester. Oh, they're playing the famous Raven in Worcester. Shout out. Ah! Shout out to uh, Pleasant Street in Worcester. Yeah, tell us more about this venue, Mark. So great. Mark, Everyone should go. Well, I'll be there. Yeah, it's going to be great. Um, Are they going to burn Go to it Coney down? Island down the street about a mile. That's good. Okay. I like, believe you. What did you say? Are they going to burn, they gonna it, burn down? it down? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looks like a building that would easily go up in flames, though. <laughs> Just ready to go. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's going to be a list of store, I mean, list of shows uh, in the show notes. But um, so it's a it's a decent decently long tour, um, and the record's good. People seem to like it. It's getting good reviews. I've heard um, nothing but good reviews on this one. I'm not, and this isn't like me, like you know. Yeah. I mean, I know we you know, we work for the label, blah 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 blah. But all the reviews I've seen, yeah, it's been great. People seem to be genuinely excited that they're active in making music again. Also, this is by far their best sounding release because I would say so. Um, God City, baby. And if you haven't checked it out and you're familiar, they re-recorded two songs from the last great C seven inch, and they sound mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's awesome. They weren't um, like from what I, you know from what I heard they they weren't really um, I don't want to put words in their mouth but they weren't really happy with how those were I read that too yeah you know uh, recorded and eventually released so they redid them for the LP and they sound awesome yep. I think they sound great um and last thing to talk about is the packaging is great people not only are psyched on the songs or whatever but a lot of people have been posting photos of their pre orders because uh, there's a giant you know twenty four by thirty six poster as well as a 28 page 28 page 28 booklet. page booklet full, filled with uh jake designed uh different pages with all the lyrics and stuff for all oh, the songs not, and all the pages aren't the same what all the pages aren't the same you said yeah. they're different pages okay cool i just wanted to make sure on that rich go to bed <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> continue mark oh wow <laughs> you only have four hours of sleep last night i'm getting like oh i'm getting like sweaty i'm so heated right now. <laughs> um, it's a pretty fire record you're right anyways that that's pretty much it so if you haven't checked out burn it's available to stream everywhere can we i say still something have about the packaging too final you sure no. can because I don't, I don't. I mean, I don't talk enough during the podcast, so I want to make sure that I get my words in. <laughs> Guys, give him a shot. Go ahead. Mark's so mad at me right now. Um, we're stepping up our vinyl game. Twenty seventeen. I mean, we've always been, we've always made cool looking records, but I feel like we're really stepping up our game now. Yeah. Just be on the lookout for these records. We got, a, <laughs> we got a, we got a new record today Ooh. in the mail. Ooh. Ooh. Five pallets of it, baby. Yeah. So heavy, our arms are sore. Five pallets. So yeah, sore. I. I'm and it's beautiful. Sore. Just gonna say it. it looks great. We're just stepping up our game. Yep, hundred and ten percent. Take oh, yeah. we're taking our powders. We were at a hundred and ten. We are going hundred and ten percent. We're at hundred and twenty now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> undisclosed powders. Caleb's Creatine. drinking his yerba. Yerb, dude. I was eating a sandwich the other day, and Trey walked by our office and asked if I was doing lines. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of powders, <laughs> just eating a PB and fluff. <laughs> No, Toasted, we, Mark. We don't snort our powders. We put them. We mix them in with water and drink them throughout yeah, the day. Okay. Oh, or rub them in your gums. Yeah. I have some in my car. I can oh, hook you up. Shit. Yeah. We're just. We're. You're gonna. Dude, you're gonna need a mixer bottle though. Watch out! Like everyone just needs to watch out. Labels. I have one of those. Bands, in my car for fans, <laughs> watch out for our vinyl. Be threatened by our packages. Yeah, you're gonna be scared. <laughs> We got some nasty packages coming your way. Yeah. Yo, this is nasty. <laughs> that shit will cut you up. Yeah. I used, like, kids in my, like, maybe middle school, late elementary school, high school, kids used to say nasty was, like, cool. Yeah. That was, like, I forgot that that was a thing. Yeah. It's like a skateboarding like, thing. That's nasty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to bring, i brought this up to a few of my friends and no one's that excited on it including Caleb but I want to bring back as if <laughs> like the cho- as if oh my I, th- I think there's some uh, legitimate Did that originally hype cl- building around that one cl- clueless clueless yeah, probably yeah. Yo, that's that's over hey another thing got uh, uh, announced today uh, Roadburn Festival are you guys familiar oh fuck um, it's a festival in the Netherlands that Damn. happens once a year. Can First we, topic, can we sir. Go? Burn. Road burn. Burn. Yeah. Continue. Um, and uh, Jake's... Family trip. Jake's yes. curating it. That's pretty cool. That's every year sick. they Every year they pick a person to curate the festival, basically uh, pick the bands. Last year was... Uh, John Bar- Baisley. Yep. Yeah. 
And this year's Jake. Uh, they announced some of the bands. Um, one of them being, who would have thought Converge is playing? <laughs> um, Godspeed. What, they're doing two sets. So, oh yeah. Well, let's talk about the Converge yeah. thing first. They're doing two sets. Okay. First one is going to be the Dusk and Us. They're going to play the entire album Ooh, straight through. Have a hoid of it. And then they're going to do You Fail Me the night after. Straight Dude, through. we got to go. What? I want to go. I want to go too. You want me to try to smuggle you in? Ellie, I get to go first. What? <laughs> <laughs> we both I, can go. Okay. So, yeah. Um, plus two. I don't know if we talked about this on the podcast, Road but the Dusk two. and Us is the new Converge record coming out in November. Yeah, if, we actually... If you don't know. But it's also, like, the new record, like... It's a new record, yeah. It's the only record. The new record. It's the new I have record. Zero clue what you guys Dude, are talking as about. If. As right. if. Go on, Rich. What's next? <laughs> uh, uh, so they're doing. They're playing those albums. Uh, you know, straight through, full albums in their entirety live. Um, and besides that, uh, Godspeed, you Black Emperor is playing. Super cool. Um, yep. One of my newer favorite bands I just discovered this year, Panopticon, is playing. <laughs> nice, awesome. Um, I, I can't. A bunch I, more. I, yeah, I forget. I forget too. who's announced first, but yeah. I remember Jake showed me his list. Yeah, I saw a little while yeah, back, yeah, yeah. and it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't know who is actually on it, but yeah. you don't want to leak anything. <laughs> well, no, like I don't know who he actually got, but I remember oh. like he was like, "This is my wish list," and I was like, "Yeah," I was like, "Zoinks." <laughs> Yeah, so um, there's going to be a lot more uh, uh, announced, but um, yeah, for now we'll, they announced that we'll, today. And we'll all be there, so come say hi. I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to Europe. Rich. Have there's you ever wa- been to Europe? Wow. Never. I have well, no desire to go to you know, travel you at all. Really? You no. know there's a Waltham Netherlands? <laughs> <laughs> He's there. <laughs> I get, no, no, this is a great topic because I literally have no desire to travel okay. anywhere. But why? I don't know. Okay. I don't like. You don't think you'd end up having fun though if you. Yeah, but like, I don't want like. I, I just don't like. You know, people like walk around cities and do things all day. I don't. You don't care about that. No, God no. You, you don't. don't wanna, you don't want like see stuff. Yeah, I got Google Maps for that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I mean, care. I haven't been to Europe either, but it was just because I, I haven't really. I couldn't afford it. I don't have a passport, but I could get one. Oh, shit. someday. Mine expired. Go get one for right now. Yeah, I just have no <laughs> desire to go there. That's all. I mean, that's okay. I was just wondering if you had a real reason. If it's I have just, no desire to go anywhere, though. It's not just Europe. Dude, Rich, you're so right. You, you go barely want to go to Worcester for the fucking burn show. <laughs> Dreading it. <laughs> not because the band. <laughs> Show's going to be dope. <laughs> no, because no, I just don't like going to Worcester. That's all. Dude, you're so right. Yeah, but you travel can want to travel over. and not want to go to Worcester. Sorry. I just, I just true. don't. I don't know. I'm not like, I don't, I, I just don't, I don't find joy in that. That's all. Okay. It's stressful. Traveling is stressful. I know, and it's like easier than ever. It's but like it's cool. The internet and everything. You guys, you guys heard of the internet? Um, you can go on the internet and like do things and get things done. And I just don't, still don't want to do it. I don't know, I'm just a boring asshole. Think about the OmniFocus project you would have for a European travel oh. vacation. We'd have to do more than just an OmniFocus list. We'd have to have a Trello board. We'd have to have notes going. We'd have mm-hmm. to have a to-do list. Rich reminders. would design his own app for his <laughs> quite I probably would have to do it yeah some euro coding <laughs> is their coding different <laughs> yeah yeah they you know it's like the outlets we have three prong over here they got the others <laughs> yeah, yeah. I the code you know code. I understand so um yeah if you're in the Netherlands are you gonna travel there it's in April um, you can go to roadburn.com and get all the information, but it should mm-hmm. be a good time. Yep, and head over to our Patreon now to uh, fund our tickets over there. Yep. <laughs> our Kickstarter. Yep. Send Deathwish employees to the Roadburn. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Caleb, why don't you tell us about this uh, super unison thing? Yeah, right after I say a few more things about our uh, Patreon. So right now we're at $0 raised out of 10000 <laughs> Um, so that's airfare, uh, accommodations, accommodations, yeah. and you know, staying new food, per diem, right, right, new, and, ha- new hairstyles. Yes, I, we got to look fresh for road burn. The weed mm. fund, <laughs> also the dank dank. Yeah, <laughs> it's legal over there, right? I think. I mean, sure. I think it's legal everywhere except the United States, right? But it's legal here now. Oh it's yeah, legal it in is. Massachusetts. Yeah, my yeah. friends from New York were pumped. Oh, was, uh, I was like, whatever. So yeah, patreon.com slash um, roadburndw. Thank you. So, Adult Swim, 
they do a single series every year. Mark, are you turning me down? No. Are Chill. You, dude, are you okay? You're, Can you just talk? Okay. You're good. Adult swing. <laughs> Adult, adult swing. <laughs> adult swings. <laughs> adult swings. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh jeez. Adult no, swim. No, that's what you ordered on Amazon last night. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't Amazon. But. <laughs> <laughs> adult. So, Adult Swim just launched their recent singles series for this year, and our our buddies in Super Unison's on it. You should listen. So the new song, it's titled Orchid. It's a new song. It's unreleased. Orchids. 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 That's what I said. Multiple man. orchids. That's what I said. Um, the track's awesome. I'm really stoked on it. So, yeah, give me more Super Unison, please. Thank you. Um, I'm sure the link will be in the show notes if you want to I'm going to put the out. link in the show notes, yeah. yeah. Um, this is like the 20th song. They do they do a song like every week. Yeah. Um, there's been like a bunch of bands in there. Um, Wolves in the Throne Room. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And there's like this nice little 3D thingamabob. Yeah, the website's actually really nice. Yeah. Most of the time, like, you go to a website and the uh, the player is literally the worst thing ever in the world. Yeah. And it doesn't work. Uh, this one actually works. And it looks nice, which is a weird combination. They usually just don't work. And they don't look nice. But this is a nice player. Looks great. I'm going to look at... I want to see some of the other... Uh, Oops, I just... What am I doing? Don't okay. click that. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. I want to see some of the other songs. Uh, there's Wolves. Yeah, Wolves in the Throne Room. The waves, I know Waves. Waves. But, yeah, that's the 20th song that they released, and it's going to be... Really? It's going to be 52? Damn, doggy. I don't know. Maybe maybe they started in so I, I, the middle of the year. They I must have, know. obviously. 2015, they did 22 songs, and then last year they did 31. And this oh, year okay. I thought it was every week, but I'm... Well, fuck me. I, I Yeah, fuck you, man. <laughs> I fucked up. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah. I'll put a link in the show notes. You can go listen to it. Um, go listen to that. Go listen to Auto. Their uh, debut LP on Death Wish. And hopefully mm-hmm. there's going to be some more to come in the future. They just toured Mexico with Miserable over the summer. So that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um, Great band. What are we going to go to? What's Spotify. What's up with that? Oh, yeah. Actually, I was just texting Mark earlier today because Mark's my... I was my, wondering what that was about. Mark's my uh, Apple Music buddy, you know. Uh, so I was sending him some, some things. And uh, there's a new integration with... Uh, you can use the Spotify... Do you guys use iMessage apps at all? Yes. Not really. No, you don't. You're a liar. You have an Android phone. You just lie to the public. What do you mean by wow. iMessage app? Negative, negative I don't point. Know. I have, like... I don't use the Facebook Messenger thing that everybody tries to use now. Oh, you're talking about... Okay, right, I have, like, a regular texting app. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine, yeah. Um, in iMessage, there's, like, these little apps that you can do, and there's a Spotify one now. And uh, you can share songs through there. That's great. That's nice. I don't know how useful it is, but, I mean, it's cool when you're trying you to... just send a link to someone before. Yeah, yeah wait, but you, you can actually play it in there now. I mean, that's kind of cool. You can actually, like, play the song, like, preview it. Is it in... The Spotify app? Can you click a button in the Spotify app and it immediately... Yeah, you can share a song from I there. Mean, oh, okay, see, that's what I would just do. That's yeah, pre- I know. That's pretty I cool, know. but, I mean, it would be nice if the app just worked. <laughs> hey, oh, that's they right. need Caleb's to do... having problems with his Spotify app. I want to see Spotify and Apple Music in everything. Like, I want to be, like, in the elevator and, like, just hit a button so I can listen to something there. Like, there should be integrations everywhere elevator i'm just saying it should be everywhere you should be able to listen to music like i want to go to a restaurant and you should be able to like play music at your table that's a, that'd be a great thing. that would be sick this coming copyright back. rich rossi no, uh 2017 be, just be a den of just i'm just chaos. saying like a, like a little you walk in and be don't like you ever, ah. don't you ever like hang out with friends and put on music just something in the background just to like yeah but not at like a restaurant yeah but if no, you but like it a, wouldn't you could figure out a way where all of the tables music's yeah. Music doesn't bleed into one another. Yeah. Like walls or something. <laughs> These soundproof walls. Just like a, every booth. Not like you can, like pump shit out, but like just like have a little something in the background. Like, oh yeah, I like that song. You know what I mean? They should be everywhere. Like this is this is There's what me- m- music needs to be doing. Streaming. I know this is just like a little like app. But there's already music in restaurants. The, yeah, but there's not. They have their own. Lordy, music. lordy, it's so awkward. Yeah, but it's just like it's just like you know Cheryl Crow like playing over the, the like. Yeah, but you know what they're playing it from? Spotify. I don't know, but they're probably playing it from like. So my restaurant uses. No, because public places need 
they have to pay like a licensing fee thing. Really? Like. Yeah, don't I didn't you? Know that. Oh shit, Allie. We should edit that out. Your restaurant's in trouble. <laughs> oh, oh, they are. Yeah, because you're playing. For it. You're playing music in a public place, so you have to get it through. I don't know. I'm they pro- play like weird, like jazz B sides. No one cares. You, 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 all right, you. We've all worked at like some giant corporation, right? Before, like a yeah. like a oh, sure. a grocery store or like a Target, Caleb. Walgreens. Walgreens. Re- represent. You never know. like went into the back room and saw like the Muzak player. Yes. They had yeah. that at my restaurant. It was yeah. like a weird. It was a separate computer that just had this program on it. <laughs> yeah, like it might have been called. We had it too. I can't it, was called. it was just this box at like the grocery store, and you'd like had. It was like a little knob you could change channels. Yeah, and um, and yeah, that's that was music. You're basically paying a licensing fee to play music in a public thing. And then does it, each corporation have their own like special brand of? Well, you just you you basically pay for the service from whoever, and then the, you pay like a fee of some sort, and that fee gets you know trickled down to the artist. Because Walgreens really, played a lot of Kenny Loggins. Dude, I I don't even want to know how much miserable. like money Cheryl Crow has made from grocery store like play like playlists. I wanna soak up the deals. Yeah. <laughs> That's not <laughs> but. Along those lines, uh, there needs to be more. There needs to be more subscriptions, like music subscription things integrated into everything. We got to get our catalog on those things. It'd be yeah. really funny for someone to be like at like a Chipotle and hearing, I want to soak up the sun, and they just hear like Immortals on Rhea or something. Just like, that would be yeah. awesome. I heard turnover at Starbucks once. I heard culture abuse at Five Guys. <laughs> That's and hilarious. I was like, I was like the, sitting there alone eating a burger on a Saturday. I heard the Welcome Menzing- to my life. I heard the Menzinger is at a Boston Bruins game. That's cool, really? though. Yeah. Bruins. That's cool. Yeah. When I first started at Legal Seafoods, they played Darklands for the Juice of Mary Chain and King of Carrot Flowers Part 1. Oh, that that's good. pretty cool. And then they immediately changed it. Yeah. Such like, a well, get, what is this? Yeah. I heard a, I heard a uh, I heard a Watain song at Supercuts once too. <laughs> <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> nice. I used no, to I plug in my own iPod at my work uh, when I had an iPod at the job that had the Muzak thing, and people were generally just asking me to turn it off most of the time. <laughs> there was one kid that went to the school that was really psyched on it. He heard it was that Run for Cover comp. Uh, what is it called? Mixed Signals. I was listening to that. Yeah. And one guy was really the one with the Tiger on it. Draw song. Yes. Yeah, in the Awesome Menzinger song. Yeah. And what, it, there was a cast of that song, and he, this one kid was like, oh my god, this band is so good. And I don't remember his name, but we used to always like, nod at each other when he came in to get dinner. And he's in Sorority Noise in that band Prawn. Like, I always see him in the oh, photos. Yeah. I don't know him, but like, if you're definitely not listening, but what's up, dude? <laughs> it was what nice you, uh, dude, that you liked the music that I did. Millions of people listen to this podcast. Of course he's listening. <laughs> yeah, of course. Shout out. He's been waiting. He's been emailing. I don't know your name, but... Um, so I like I like that. I mean, I know it's like a small little thing that it's just like in iMessage now, but like there should be more. There should be more. You want to talk about your Apple Music switch? Switch to Apple Music. Fucking traitor. Um, welcome, welcome to the fam. I'm not fully transitioned because I still have both. <laughs> I haven't canceled Spotify yet. Okay. Damn. I'm I'm a fiend for those stats. Baller baby. shot caller. <laughs> Until I get charged for both in one month, I'm going to think I'm I honestly idiot, think you but... need both services now. Everyone does. No, not everyone. I think it's worth the Most money. Most people live their life fine rich? without either. Yeah. Both. Wow. Um, I probably will get rid of Spotify. But I, the reason I switch it's is because I started pl- playing an album, and it I pl- pressed play in the first song, and started playing the third song. And it did that six times, and I restarted the app, and I kept just playing the third song. And I said, fuck this. I'm paying for this. And I just switched. Spotify, you and have I tried some problems. To, I tried to renew my student membership to get four ninety nine to get it half off. And uh, it said I'm not a valid student. But I have class tonight, so fuck you. Mark's, Marco, <laughs> Marco, it's a night school. Yeah. How did we get here? I'm sorry. I don't even know. So what's what's up? What's What, what do you like? What do you dislike with your new change? Oh, I'm actually really excited because um, I was looking at Spotify just um, because. And... I never looked at my artists or albums that I would save or follow. I always, every single time, whether on my phone or on the computer, I just search for what I want to listen to and go that way. Whereas Apple Music, I also am a frequent user of an Apple TV, and the app on that is great for Apple Music. So I've been saving artists to my library, 
And whenever I want to listen to music, I know all the shit I want to listen to is in my library. So it's just faster. Also, really psyched on all the video stuff. All the video stuff is like really good. Really excited to watch the Bad Boy Records uh, documentary about P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, whatever his name is now. Um, so that's cool. And uh, I assume they're going to keep doing cool video stuff. I watched the f- first episode of Planet of the Apps. And that's exciting. I also like all the radio shows, like Frank Ocean's radio show. This is all the shit Spotify just does Little perk. Little perk. Yeah, and it makes me feel like it's like way worth the money more than um, Spotify is. And I haven't had it fuck up yet. Like, it hasn't not worked. Yeah. Yet. I like it. There's so, certain things I like about both, but having used both. You know. I also like how stuff from your iTunes will just show up on there. I know you could do it with Spotify, but it was kind of weird. Oh, like stuff work. you have saved locally? Yeah. yeah. you can like sync it. So everything's uh, good? You're going to stick with Apple Music for now? or for what? Now, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Everyone, so we have two Apple Musics and two uh, Spotifyers. Your Spotify, Ellie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're the last holdouts then. Yeah, but what are you doing? Because it's not working for you. Oh! No, 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 but I mean, like, oh. literally, what are you listening to? I'm just getting frustrated with it all the time, because it doesn't work. They need to work on their app a little bit. So I started using the web browser, like, play.spotify, Oof. and, like, that was fine, but then that stopped working, too, so, like, I'm getting pretty fed up with it. Caleb the has only... no music in his life right now. <laughs> I have a lot less, but I the, uh, the main reason I'm holding on is because I have a family plan, and I pay for oh. two other people, so I don't want to be like, yo, you're done. Is you it working could, for them? Though. Yeah, I asked them. And they're like, "Yeah, that's fine." So I like, I don't. It's like I'm not making it up. Hmm. Like I have the Weird. same problems Mark was having. So I don't know. I kind of hmm. want to ball out and just get balls. Keith like had Rich the same does. problem too. Yeah, Keith had a bunch of issues. His was like a weird anomaly. Oh, okay. He told me about his issues, but I I haven't had any issues up until like last month or so. Like it's been pretty recent. Yeah. Spotify I haven't encountered it yet. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. My uh, my sleeping is... is I think I talked about it in the last episode that we recorded uh, a while ago, that my sleeping was really bad. Mm-hmm. It still is. It's not great, but... And now mine is bad, too, so thanks for that. I know. I, I gave it to you. I apologize. But Stay away from me. I'm, I'm okay. I'm better than I was like at that time, but um, I did wake up in the middle of the night to record an OmniFocus task. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night and thought that I left carrots on my desk. So I made an um, OmniFocus task to remind myself to check, to actually text Mark... Did you to think- see, because I wasn't going to be in the office the next day, and ask him if I left carrots on my desk. Is that is that is that psychopath level at this point? Yes. Mark, <laughs> did he leave the carrots? No, they're in the fridge. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night and thought I left carrots on the, my desk, and I didn't want them to spoil and get flies all over the office, so I made a task. I don't to- think that would happen in one day. I was actually going to text Mark when I woke up, like at like 2 o'clock in the morning, but that I was like... Been- crazy if i was like what it's usually an emergency at that point <laughs> what if it's i like, called him that would have been actually way better <laughs> mark yeah. mark run <laughs> over to please? the office yes. <laughs> these are the things i worry about this is why you're not sleeping you're a lunatic <laughs> yeah i know i know i know but i just Carrots. thought that was funny let them spoil then there'll be flies all over the office. There are flies all yeah, over. Yeah, there already are. So. <laughs> the fruit flies are bad. I get fruit flies at my house too. Like they're like real bad this year. They are. They're out of control. There's yeah. There's something extra annoying about them. Yeah. Because they're like small and they're just constantly like. Do you guys try to use the apple cider. That vinegar. works really well. I did that in an sure. old apartment. Yeah. So we, we might have to do that here. Yeah. Hey Mark, you want to take the um, the the colorblind test now? Sure. I have no idea why we put this in the show notes. I don't know. But I do. It's funny. I remember. Why, I why, why did we put this in the show notes? Because you and Caleb were saying that my computer monitor's colors were all fucked. Oh, oh yeah, and you're yeah. like, these look great. And then like, yeah, and you were like, yo, are you colorblind? And I got worried. And then you were like, oh, we're doing this on the podcast. Here's a secret. Um, I'm not great at taking photos at all. And but Mark is especially bad at taking photos. <laughs> 
Have you been worried for three months that you're colorblind and we have no, not but let you take Just this remember screen. it now. Mark will show me a photo and be like, here, look at it. I took this photo of a record. I'm just like, please don't post that on the internet. I haven't like, done this in a year. <laughs> please, because... This isn't even like Snapchat worthy. Like, it's so bad. <laughs> two years ago, I think two years ago, when Loma Self Portrait came out, I spent a fucking hour and a half <laughs> in my office, like, lining shit up and, like, I didn't know what I was doing, but I thought it looked, like, really good. And then I was, like, I emailed it to Rich, and he was, like, are you fucking kidding me? This looks terrible. <laughs> it's been, like, two hours making the thing. <laughs> and then Caleb comes over with his nice-ass camera and, like, takes photos, and they look nice. He, and, I don't know. So Caleb, that, that was before I'm blushing, that. I'm blushing. Caleb so. takes all of our photos, if you didn't know. Like, all those, like, fancy-ass photos that you see on the website. Common and features. Like, yeah, we actually... Yo, feature! <laughs> his new nickname is Features, so... Um, so cool! <laughs> we, you, you spoil me. Stop. Come can on. we take? Can we take the yeah, test take with the you, test. Mark? What? All right. what I'll, I'll put a link in the, the show test. notes. No, no, no. Look, what? What letter is that? Start I know you're test. Wait, did you yeah. just stop? Yeah. I haven't started the test yet. You okay. Click start. Hit start and then hit start now. Okay. What if it's the same for everyone? You will see an image composed of small dots. The image is only shown for a short period of time. Look for a number that is hidden in the pattern of dots. The number will be a single digit, one to nine. Select the appropriate button. Indicate. Mm. Okay. You can also type. All right, we already did the first one. Rich, you're going too fast. Okay. Wait. wait. Well, I think it's random. Oh, is it? Mark, what was the first number? What was the first number? Eight. Okay, it, okay, is, it random. is random. Okay. All right, we're not going to do it together then. So I'm just going to do one here. Okay. Whoa. I'm doing it. Um, this is very easy because I'm not colorblind. I'm not colorblind. We think Mark is Ooh, though. That one's closer though. I'm going to see what I get, because I want to do it, because I, I think I have good vision, but I'm not really sure. Oh. This is not about vision, it's just about colors. Well, I know, I'm just saying. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? You saw a number in that? Yeah. Let's get out. No. I'll let you take it after. No. Am I colorblind? Yo, these get difficult. <laughs> what? I re- there Mark, is not a number there. Which letter Hold is on. that? Yeah, some of these are just like, I don't even know. Good, so you're just picking random <laughs> shit? No, no, I, there was one that I didn't know. Mark, you know there's a nothing option, right? I see that now. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. Fuck. Like, Fuck Jesus. Yeah. Damn it. The last two had nothing. No, don't tell him. I need to know what he gets. All right, Mark, you're, are you almost done with the one test? Or, one is wrong because I didn't know there was a nothing button. Yeah, I think I did, I think I did one wrong, too. I got really upset for a second there. <laughs> These are easy. I think you're going to do fine, Mark. This is really Guys, Rich is the best at vision. Okay. No, no, this is really great podcasting. A visual test on a podcast. Whose this idea was this? this Brilliant. Really, this really helps. Probably listenership's going way up right now. Um, you finish? Um, why is this taking so long? It's like I've been at ninety percent. Mark for the has past his two and a half minutes. My, my result. Mine's definitely broken. <laughs> it's just gonna go on forever. <laughs> okay, Mark, what'd you get? I got normal color vision. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> So like, such an exciting result. Not even like exceptional or yeah, like mediocre. Mine's, just mine's normal. broken. Here, Al, you take it. <laughs> Your vision's fucked. <laughs> just like, keep having to take the test. It's not it, ending. It keeps asking you, just being like, really? Wait. I, oh, never mind. Good. <laughs> Wait. So you're good. Did it give you results? I'm just doing no, a different one. No, I, it, my, it broke. Oh, okay. So you're okay, Mark. Holy shit. This is video of a guy that is looking at green streamers, at, and he gets these glasses on, and he's, like, freaking out. Cause yeah, have you wait, seen these yeah, videos? Yeah, have ever seen these, these videos? These videos have been going around. I clearly have not. But they're all, like, really touching, like, the person cries because they've never seen color. Yeah. That's actually... Wait, did you guys show me that, or did somebody else show me that? No clue. That's fucking deep. That's crazy. Yeah. Imagine not seeing color, and you like, think everything's normal. There's a bunch of, like, these older men, like, at their birthdays, like, their family gets yeah. them this, and, like... And they look up at the sky, and then they start crying. That's fucking yeah. incredible. That's crazy. When I first got glasses, I couldn't believe you could see leaves on trees. I thought it, the trees were just blurry. All right, should we do a type a typing contest now? Next? Hang on. Because that, that'll be really exciting, too. <laughs> this is the podcast the most exciting. This is, I mean, uh, look, it's broken. Is it even moving? Hold on. I don't know. <clears throat> just do it really quick. It we can't get to the end of it. It doesn't take that long. <laughs> Maybe there's 30. It's broken. Just keep going. Just, Allie, don't even worry about it. Just keep taking the colorblind test for the rest of the podcast. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'm going to. So it's, Mark, a it's actually a sanity test. Mark, you're okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm failing. He's normal. I'm good. I'm good. What do we get next? What do we get next? I can't look at the show notes because Ka- uh, Allie's taking a colorblind <laughs> test on my iPad right no. now. No! Um, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'm, I got it. I got to the I got to the end. What does it say? 
It's I a have normal 60, color vision. It's it says 63. It says check with your doctor. <laughs> it's just a gray screen. You can't see anything. Uh, Rich is like, oh, it says you got a 63%. Uh, <clears throat> all right, Mark's good. Hey, we noticed this the other... Remember we were comparing songs on Spotify? Yep, so, yeah. yeah, now Rich has both. So. Okay, I discovered this before this article was posted, so... Uh, you are... It wow, was only am I right or wrong? It was a few days before. You're uh-huh. a real special carrot, you know that? <laughs> You're a rotten carrot. <laughs> All right, stop it. Um, if you didn't stop. know, if you didn't know, I um. Now you know. I I, I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, I only noticed this because, like, look, I'm not like a, I'm not like a mastering engineer or anything, but I have mastered some records and blah blah blah. And I, you know, I graduated. I have an audio engineering degree. Blah 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 blah. Come loud day. I'm not. I'm not. Just take the next five minutes to talk about yourself. No, no, no. I'm just saying. <laughs> So I do when I do listen to music. I ha I like to. I have this like sort of like. I don't want to say like uh, I'm looking for like ultra quality vision. <laughs> audio. Like I, I like to listen to like the production value of things, and that's yep. interesting to me. Sometimes I listen to s- songs because I like how well they were recorded, and like I like the way the recording yep. sounds, um, which is same thing with Caleb. Caleb watches movies that he doesn't necessarily love, but he values the movie in some sort of way because he, he's seeing it in a different way than standard than I would watch the movie. Correct? True, yeah. So, I mean, and when Mark's putting on a long sleeve in the morning, he... Yeah, exactly. He, Guys, he, I just do one <laughs> arm at a time like all of you. <laughs> yeah, but you go, oh, this is more of a Gildan day. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, oh, what... What sort of uh, blend is this? <laughs> oh, God, this is... Oh, polyester. <laughs> so we all have links. So when I listen to music, I tend to notice some things once in a while. Because I, you know, I went to school for that stuff, whatever. And I was listening to... Um, what what song was I listening to? Was it Converge? Converge. The new single, yeah. And I, was, I, I remember I listened to it on um, Apple Music, and I was like, wow, this sounds like a lot better on Apple Music than it does on Spotify. And... Sure enough, and it, not necessarily better, but it was like louder and more crisp. Way, way different. It had more definition. I don't know, whatever. Yeah. So it was when I was using Spotify and Apple Music. I'm like, oh, I should listen to it on both. See what it. In in that case, in that scenario, I felt like it sounded better on Apple Music than Agreed. it did on Spotify. Yeah. But then we listened to other songs, and there wasn't as big of a difference. Yeah. So some songs sounded different, and some of them, some didn't. We've listened to like a bunch of different ones, and like. We were listening to, like, app music and, like, oh, wow, this song sounds better on app music. Do, or there was a song that sounded better on Spotify. Do we know if the mastered for iTunes, does that transfer over to Apple Music? How I does that think work? it does. Because I'm prob- pretty sure it does. I, 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 I have to do more research on that. Because I'm I, sure the Converge track was mastered for iTunes. Yeah, I have to do more research on that. I don't know for sure. But yeah. I'll... Because that would might, that might be it. Because if some songs sound, we'll closer. do some we'll do some follow up on that. Because I'm not really sure. I'll have to get more information on that. But, um, uh, but yeah, anyways, yeah. So there is uh, Spotify lowered the volume on uh, many songs. Damn, hmm. surprising. Um, and this makes sense because, like, I feel like the the whole loudness war thing is is over. I mean, yeah, you don't need it anymore. Well, people are smart enough to to like know more about that now not even not not even like smart i just like there's more information about it now i just feel that like that was that's real like you can like i mean at least i heard it and 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 i don't think it's a big deal we all heard it there's a big difference yeah i just don't think it's, it's i don't think it's a big deal especially now with cds it was a big deal i remember like i remember like when you know we were in bands when we were younger or whatever i remember like we're recording and we're like, we need to make this the loudest as possible. Like, it was just like a, it's like a thing. Like, I don't even know why it was stupid, but we try to like compress, like literally we'd make an album and it would just like be compressed to like, it just looked like a block when you looked at the waveforms. Yeah. Just sound on, sound off. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. And, uh, now it's not so much. There's lots more dynamics we can put in there. Um, so. Plus it sounds better. You'll hear definitely, the difference. Yeah, definitely. There's some like, um, there's some really good sound, like really great sounding albums that are not very like not really loud. That um, that La Dispute album, Wildlife. I feel like um, that record sounds great, but it's not like very loud. But I actually really like it that way. It sounds sounds really good to me. Yeah. Plus, I mean, there's a volume knob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's that. 
There's that. We should get like a. We'd have to talk to like some. We, I wish we had got someone to like actually like. I, I should ask like, you know, Brad from Audio Siege like to talk more about that or something like that because he does mastering and stuff. Yeah, like you love Brad in? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we locked him out. <laughs> I gotta talk to him more about that. Like to see like you know. That would actually be very cool. Episode. Interesting, interesting to talk about. Um. But yeah, there, there is a difference in these services, all these streaming services, which you wouldn't think. They use different like compression and different um, uh, file types, so things could sound a bit different on depending on what service you listen to them yeah, on. Yeah, definitely. So. Plus, Spotify has that high quality audio streaming option. Well, so does Apple Music. They do. Okay. Yeah, there's like you can you can adjust the quality that you're listening to it in. Is that just MP3 versus Wave? Like, what is that? Well, Spotify. When we talked about this previously, they use a different... Um, I forget the name of the file type, but they don't use MP3. Oh. And I, iTunes, Apple what Music, you, uses AAC. Submit? You just submit waves. You submit waves, but they, they do the... They fuck around with it? They do the conversion. Maybe that's on why it end. sounds different. Could be, yeah. Maybe they're doing some sort of Swedish coding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> the Swedish coding is... Where are they from? Switzerland? Right? Sweden? Something like that. I don't... <laughs> I Spotify is from somewhere. No, like I, know, that. I know, I know. I have no idea. We just offended someone. Uh, just edit it out. <laughs> um, Surrey. We um we Sweden. Did. Yes. We check. I gotta check the feedback machine. Um. So we're gonna again. We're gonna do feedback. Mark's. Um, we have to finish up the podcast because Mark is about to fall asleep. Mark's losing interest. Um, you can use the hashtag Ask Death Talk on Twitter. Email us Death Talk at deathwishing dot com or call the Death Talk hotline. That's the preferred way to get in contact with the show. Uh, the number is seven five four seven zero three eight two five five. That's seven five four seven zero. D Talk. <laughs> Leave your uh, first name, where you're from, and a brief message. We'll play it on the show. Here's a few we've gotten in the past couple months. Uh, here, we'll just hit play. Let's see what happens. I don't even know what's going to happen. Hey, this is Will from L.A., big, huge Death Wish Records fan. Just trying to get on the air. Quick shout-out to the wife, Wendy, and daughters, Juliet and Valerie. Hope you're out there listening. And uh, just a request that you boys... Shout, so shout them out too and say hi to so they can listen and uh, just be entertained by y'all. Same is. All right, Wendy. What's uh, up, Wendy? Wendy, Juliet, and Valerie. There we go. Shout, shout out. out. Wendy, um, Juliet, Valerie. Happy birthday, ladies. <laughs> happy birthday. If it's not your birthday, it's going to be soon. And guess what? It's yeah. going to come again. I'm going to hear this thing. They're, they're definitely not listening. So, uh,. He's going to make them listen now. Yeah, make make them listen. Help us with those downloads. Back our Patreon. Yeah, back our Patreon. Yeah. Get us over to Roadburn. <laughs> uh, this one, here's another one. This is uh, Toby. Hey, this is Toby from Seneca Falls. And you should all look up right about now. All right, I think that's the same person in a different voice. It definitely is because it's the same phone number. This is the, the same person called us eight times. <laughs> and it's not Mark's brother for once. Oh. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> well, uh, we'll, we'll probably get some more next time. But, um, yeah, we're um, we're going to finish up the podcast. This isn't a too uh, much. This isn't a very long uh, episode. But uh, we're getting back into it. We're back for season three. We're going to do more. If you have any ideas, let us know. We're just going to play around with the podcast, do some different things. We should see know. it. I don't want to see that, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm too scared. <laughs> um, anything? Oh, we should, do, um, we should do what we're into and then finish up. Allie, you're, this is your first episode, so you have to go first. All right. You, um, you, can, you can say weed if you want to. That's what Mark's pick, usually. <laughs> um, I'm into this Netflix show called The Killing. You guys seen it? Mm-hmm. I've heard of it. Yeah, yes, I watched it. the first season. You only watched the first season? Yeah, because I was bummed that all that happened and it still wasn't anything. Okay, that's what I that's what I fucking love about it. So okay. it takes two seasons before they solve the, sorry, spoiler alert for anybody who has not seen it. Well, why yeah, you're gonna spoil it right now? Well, I'm not really spoiling <laughs> it's, anything. It's been out like six years. <laughs> Allie, you've been making, <laughs> that's some, been out for six you've been years, making but some questionable choices on the podcast that you're taking, Listen, you're taking selfies fi- and spoiling T V shows. <laughs> You're fired from the podcast. <laughs> um, no, so that you don't find out, like, there, it's a uh, like a serial killer, or like a murder show, who did and it? you don't find out who did it until the end of the second season. Who did it? Which, 
I can't imagine trying to pitch that to some. Like, how did they make? I know one season. Yeah, where they're like, no, 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 we need two. <laughs> <laughs> I finished the end of the first season and I was like hyped. I was like, and then I was ready for it's the finale so good. and I was like, what? Yeah, and so I'm in. I'm in the beginning of season three, and. Um, so, at the, Mark, you should watch it, because we can talk about it. But at the end of the second season, they solve the first murder, and then the, the season three is, like, still tied to the... It, I'm really into it. Um, who did it? It's still tied to the I'm not telling you who did it. story? It's tied to the first story. So, it's it's still, like, ongoing. And I'm... Um, I just really like the the main characters. Like, there's not really... She's not, like, sexy. She's not, like... She's a detective, and she's kind of, like, brooding and... Slightly unlikable. Yeah. Do you, know, and, do you know the actress's name? I don't. Know. It's like what um, they tried to do with True Detective season two, uh, with uh, Rachel McAdams. But no, good. There, she's in it the whole time, right? What the Sarah Linden? I was just, I was just comparing characters. I don't think oh. you were listening. Um, no, because like Rachel McAdams, like kind of sexy. She this this person is like she's just nondescript kind of, but she's like really really good, and she like makes like questionable choices, like revolving her child and kind of stuff like that. She, I, I'm into it. Cool. Well written. Maybe I should continue to watch it. Did you, you just did you just look up who did it on Wikipedia? No. Oh. I was thinking about something else. I just thought that show was specifically interesting because it had two seasons on AMC, got canceled, and then Netflix. Oh, yeah. That was really? the show. Okay. Yeah. So nef- the third season was like a Netflix thing. But the first I didn't know two that. were on TV. Yeah. So. Um, the. Yeah. Cool. I was That's thinking it. it might be interesting if AMC canceled it after the cliffhanger and Netflix picked it up to find that out what would happens. be, that but that wasn't what happened. Cool. That's Caleb, it. Caleb, Mark, anyone want to go? I'm into this game called Absolver. It's a kung fu game. I've been practicing moves on Mark. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't stopped. Have you broken his neck recently? <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah. he he mentioned that he missed that I, I didn't do any more tactical takedowns on him so yeah I get yeah, everyone's, everyone's been doing that really again. sad about surprises. that really sad hasn't stopped touching Mark since yeah yeah okay well that's why we need, that's why we need HR yeah department. also um, Mark Mark is on my favorites list oh yeah this on is, my phone this is very so, controversial right? yeah this this is an issue we have beef um, so he just happened to see that. It's not like I was showing him that or anything. He just happened to see it. He And I just want, before I you know finish the story, I just want to let everyone know, he didn't have to say anything. He yeah. could have just let this go by, but he immediately goes, huh, you're not on mine. Right. <laughs> I have feelings, you know. So Mark's on your, who else? I, I'm not on your favorites list, right? You are. Wow. <laughs> That's clearly not Caleb's, correct then. <laughs> Caleb's not on my favorites list. Mark's not on my favorites. Allie, you're not on my favorites list. Woof. We, yeah, like, um, you didn't even have my phone number until like two months ago. That is true. You know why? Because we always text in Slack. Oh, yeah, I know. That's funny. Yeah, there's a lot of people that don't have their phone numbers, but I talk to on a regular basis. He's in my favorites now. Delete it. Just delete your delete your whole number out of his phone. You don't need, you don't mean anything to him. You know what, Caleb? Delete everything except your email address because that's all you are to him. Oh, he moved me yeah. to the top. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, there you go. How do you not have? Why don't you have a picture of me? Take a picture you of me and a, put it on your He contact. can't fit a photo of you on his I have no four gigabytes free, baby. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Wait, what? But, Mark, he has such nice pictures of you. I honestly I went, do. I went into their office the other day, and <laughs> Caleb was just taking Mark's portrait, like, very seriously. <laughs> I know. Sometimes I'm working, <laughs> and I turn around, so and Caleb is just <laughs> taking lots of time editing photos of me. <laughs> Dude, there has been multiple times where I walk into Caleb's office and it's just a picture mark on his computer that he's like working on editing. He's, Mark, he's, was, Mark was like busy and he's like, I have things to do. And Caleb's like, just sit still for one more minute. He's my muse. Wow, take a nice one. Yeah, that was that I was care. Kind of fucked I up. care about you. I have plenty of photos of you on my phone, like hundreds. This is wow. So if you noticed, um, Caleb and Mark did a little photo shoot for the burn merchandise. Yeah, and if you notice, look at there. <laughs> this is awesome. Too far- and also look at look at the profile picture or the contact Wait. photo. That's just oh, just that's two friends so hanging out. Yeah. Wow. Meanwhile, I'm not on his favorites. <sighs> it's me and Mark walking. That's kind of badass. It's me and Mark jumping. <laughs> not bad. 
But yeah, we did a little photo shoot for Burn. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, and lots of editing, lots of gifts made from that photo shoot. <laughs> a lot of gifts. We Where did can't those post. gifts go? Yeah, They're on my computer. Caleb, do you want to share? It. Wow. Should Wait. I share them in the show notes? Yeah, yeah. Put a put okay. it, put them in Droppler and send me the link, and yep. I'll I'll you got it. it. Did he steal your phone and just take all those one day? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even ha- I don't even have to steal it. You just swipe up and put the camera on, yeah. and you just. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, what are you into? Uh, photos of Caleb. Yeah, photos of Caleb. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying red to, shirts. Wearing red shirt for the first time today feels pretty good so far. It's only four forty two. So fly, 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 fly. Oh, let's make that end. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I really like the new national record. Hmm. I, it's it's a grower. It, I wasn't like a. I didn't never not like it, but it, I wasn't like all in first listen. But I'm on my like you know thirtieth. 40th listen. I'm just, wow. I'm Going playing hard. it all the time, like in the morning, at night, just trying to get used to it. I have a, I bought the CD so I could have it in my car at all times. So yeah, you, you, just taking it in. You've been about this. You said like you need to get more CDs so you can just leave them in your car and listen to them. Not all for all albums, but albums I'm really interested in. Whenever I turn my car on, if it's just, just playing wanna... on a random song, it's like I just want to soak it in more and not because it's hard to listen to music at work because it's like it's on the background but I'm not paying attention to it. Yeah. When I'm driving, I'm like really. So and then if not I'm paying like, attention to anything else, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but because I end up listening to the first half of records a lot, so then I'll get in the car and I'll start it on the seventh song, play it from the back end. This was that I remember we talked about this a long time ago. You said you uh, start albums in the middle sometimes, and this was a big point of contention for everyone. No, actually, the, it was I shuffle albums sometimes. Shuffle. Oh, everyone was mad at you about when that. I when I get when I listen to an album a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't want to listen. Say I've heard the first three songs like more than the rest. I want to just be surprised. I like all the songs. I don't know. Sorry to the artist if it I back ruins that. your I don't shit. Care. I remember when I like, do that with Peripheral Vision a lot because I've heard the first two songs like a lot. I remember, Sometimes I want to hear the other ones. I remember when like uh, uh, iPods were a thing, or, like were getting to be a thing, and people were like, "Yeah, I just you know I I, I don't know I just." put on my iPod and I shuffle it. Like, people were pissed about that. They were like, what do you mean yeah. you shuffle your, like, songs? Like, that's like, you're a poser. Like, you know, you gotta listen to albums. You don't just listen to songs. Like, yeah. I honestly like doing both. I, uh, when I go to the gym and I don't know what to listen to, I just hit shuffle all. And, like, yeah. I literally just shuffle my entire life. You don't have gym playlists? No, made? I do, but then, like, they get old and, you know, I, I lift so much that it's just, like, I'm <laughs> sick of my playlist at this Dude, point. Dude, Spotify makes playlists for you automatically. Like, yeah, I know, playlists. and I like the daily mix. That's one of the things I liked about Spotify was the daily mixes and the release radar. Yeah. Which I still have, and I like to listen to those, but sometimes I, like, I don't know what to listen to, I just hit shuffle all. I See, shuffle my entire I have, I have a starred playlist I've been cultivating for years. Oh, like, really? Not even joking. How many songs are on it? I well, Let me check. There's a shit ton. It's like 45 right, we'll, days. We'll wait while you open the app. It should take about 45 minutes. Yeah, so. no problem. Hold on. <laughs> Rich, oh, oh, hold on. It crashed. I gotta restart my phone. <laughs> Rich, what's the title of your gym playlist? Swole, um, swole. <laughs> No, I have one that's called Party Time. Uh, that's just like party songs, you know, like whatever. Like For all the parties you have. <laughs> party time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No. yeah thanks one, for inviting us. One thousand. That's just like catchy songs that I like, you know. One thousand sixty songs, seventy hours and five minutes. Wow. I've just been adding. It's just so when Spotify uh, earlier on when I had it, yeah, there was like a star feature on each song you just click the star and it's automatically added to this playlist they got rid of it but I kept the playlist and now I just manually do it so I have just like my favorite songs and have, they're for like has your girlfriend seen that playlist it's awesome no she hasn't <laughs> yeah. she doesn't know who she's got she, she doesn't that's, <laughs> she doesn't she doesn't she doesn't even know me she doesn't even appreciate it no no you should, I've I mean, got, that's I've got a, that's classical years. music songs on there yeah yeah, yeah. there we go how do we get into this conversation? Shuffling. Oh, okay. Skrillex. There's nothing more exciting what than not knowing into. what the next song is. <clears throat> it's Mark's into the new national record. He Sleep hasn't, well, He beast. hasn't shuffled it yet. There you go. And you got the vinyl. You got the vinyl. You got the CD. Got the vinyl. Got the CD. And you're streaming it? Got the ticks How many the ways are you going to support this band? A lot. I'm going to buy a bunch <laughs> of shit at the show, too. Damn, Probably. Marky. You're like a true fan. Uh, so I went to a coffee shop, and they were projecting on a projector. Onto the wall with the projector, I should say, a, a, a live national set. I texted Mark wow. immediately because he's on my favorite list. Instantly, he responded like a week later. <laughs> Son of a bitch! But I, you know, I was think I was thinking of him. Rich, what are you into? <laughs> uh, um, 
Ever since ever since Caleb made me watch some David Lynch movies, I've just been oh. obsessed with them. Like, and I he like is. I watch like a bunch of David Lynch YouTube videos. I just think he's like a really interesting person. He is. Um, and uh, this is all Caleb's fault. Create so. a monster. Yeah, and he just, you're not even that big of a fan of Lynch. I don't like really you like, like some him. of his stuff, but I like like, no. like two movies. But I just uh, I finished um, Twin Peaks the new season. I went back and uh, I watched. Um, the Fire Walk With Me Twin Peaks movie, which was really cool. It was the movie after the original series and then the new series. New series is fantastic. It makes no sense. And it's like one, it's like, you know, Lynch movies, like where it's just like the end is just like not really like an ending. There's usually no sort of like, um, uh, really like answer resolution. or like resolution. Yeah. Um, the, the TV show was 18 episodes. It was 18 hours of not a real answer at the end. And it was cool. And I loved every second of it. And I thought it was, uh, it didn't, like, I follow, like, the, uh, like, the Reddit pages. And, like, I watch, like, the YouTube videos of, like, people explaining the episodes. And I'm just like, you are on a different level. Like, I don't even understand how you, un- how you got that information from yeah. the episode. Do you ever you, watch that stuff? I mean, I've, yeah. And that stuff is, like, crazy. And it's kind of fun. I think that's, like half the fun of watching his stuff i think is just like crazy theories and the, uh, like finding the weird the thing analysis in the frame. after yeah. yeah and like letting it stick with you and like it's so like his stuff is so weird that like it makes it like leaves an impression and you're still thinking about it way after what like, that's I, what's interesting what should but, i watch like, next have you seen um you watch Mulholland Drive? Yep. That's Blue Velvet I've seen. Blue Velvet. Um Elephant Man. Watch the Elephant Man. I was gonna say Elephant Man. That this one's is crazy. Yeah, and it's also it's the least like his other things. Yeah, Eraser Head. I loved Eraser Head. Yeah. I saw that when I was way too young. Not Eraser Head, Elephant Man. Elephant Man. Yeah, and I was just like up. I was upset. I'm still I'm still I'm so upset. Yeah, watch Elephant Man. Al, you I don't come think from a writing background. Uh yes. Correct? I have my MFA. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what what do you think about Lynch? Is he ever talked about in like the things that you that in the no. circles that you? I don't know what writing people I don't, not do. Really. I don't think they talk about film. No, I mean, but he's he's a I writer mean, and he's interesting. Do, yeah. do, do movie does movie stuff ever come up? S- sometimes, but yeah. not, I haven't talked about it recently with anyone. Yeah. I'm just interested because like I think he's like an interesting. <laughs> he, he's writer. very interesting, but yeah. I find like what you just said, where like you you watched 18 hours and it left you with nothing. I, I don't like that. I love it because like it it uh, what I love about his stuff is that it never ends. It's never yeah. over, and it's like I, I I like that. Yeah, I like that. Like you can just like keep thinking about it and keep watching analysis videos and people mm-hmm. talking about what what everyone did. You know. Yeah, I don't necessarily need like hard answers or like an yeah. opaque story, yeah. but like I like some sort of. I don't know. I don't. I, it doesn't click. You like me things for to be finalized reason. in some not, sort of like, way. Like not even. I don't even need. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I guess it's just yeah. like I feel like his stuff leaves me very empty. Yeah. Just like not like blank. Like I watch it. I'm just like okay, that happened. Yeah. So I've just been obsessed with all his stuff lately, and I'll just throw one thing in there too. Uh, uh, Narco season three is fantastic. Awesome show and extremely underrated. I feel like more oh. people should be watching it. I don't know if I ever talked about Ozark. Love Ozark. I watched Ozark. that too. That was great. Bateman for life. Yeah, Ozark was awesome. <laughs> it's like Breaking Bad. Do we just want to talk? We just changed into a Netflix yeah. podcast. <laughs> I mean, yeah. TV and yeah. movie just, commentary. Yeah. Stream your life away podcast. All right. Well, that's it. Mark's asleep. Mark is officially asleep. Did yeah, you, you're, you're <laughs> done. Those pallets got to him today. Huh? We just looked over and he was hunched over just staring at the table. <laughs> <laughs> all right well that's it well thanks for listening uh go rate us go thumbs up us go like us i don't know don't, don't thumbs up us that please, actually sounds kind of please dirty. rate us uh <laughs> leave a review of your favorite soup review. recipe it's getting um, to be a uh, soup yep. season yep and uh check out ali's selfie uh, online so. ali do you want to yeah. like uh do you want to give a shout out to one of your social media things or something i'll put a link in the show notes i don't know <laughs> i'm we'll instant her- weekend on everything okay there you go <laughs> So follow her, uh, and uh, she, you, is the, can people see the selfie that you just took during yeah, the podcast? Yeah, I'll, I'll make it available. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure, because, I mean, people um, are interested. Thanks, Rich. It's a really terrible selfie, because you called me out on it, so it's like, I don't want to share it anywhere. All right, well then... Uh, I'm going to take it off this, Snapchat welcome, as soon as this episode's over. <laughs> welcome to podcasting. This is what Rich... Rich this just is, makes you feel terrible. Yes. That's yeah, my job, to make you also, feel uncomfortable. Also, make sure to check out the burn photo shoot photos. Oh yeah, I'll put those in the show notes. We've got, and, a, we've uh, got a straight model sitting next to it. He's my muse. <laughs>
Um, Mark and Caleb are going to go talk about their feelings, but uh, this uh, episode's over. <laughs> and then so, call uh, HR. See you separately. on the next one. <laughs> Bye.